Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name's Chloe, if you don't know, and my favourite colour is pink. And today I'm going to be doing a Primark haul for you. It's a Primark haul, but also like some other bits from some other shops because I did a bit of other shopping and I didn't want to say a Primark haul as well as this shop and this shop and this shop. So it's a Primark haul and other bits. So yeah, let's get started. So, so I have this bag, it's a big bag, but there isn't actually a lot of stuff in it, like, you know, normally when people are like, oh, I've got this huge prime icon, I've got this massive bag, and then they have like 50 billion things, I don't have 50 billion things, I have a few, George bought a few things as well, I think that's probably why the bag is so big, but I'll first start with the things that aren't from Primark, so the first thing is this, we went into Tiger, I don't know if you guys know that shop but it's just like a tat store <laughs> there's just loads of things you definitely don't need that probably don't really have a use for but god it's so cool so we went in there and had a little look around I've only ever bought things from there like once or twice mainly for the house the flat and George actually picked this up it's a yoga block because I I do yoga if you don't know <laughs> and George picked it up and was like oh hey you want this and then I was like actually yeah I do that'd be, uh, that'd be pretty cool so yeah bought a yoga block it was two pounds from Tiger so if you're looking for a yoga block go to Tiger and then the next thing I went into Boots we went to Cardiff by the way it's like four hours away from us and we decided to have a little look so we went in to Cardiff and went into a shopping centre it's massive and their boots is humongous they had I don't know if like your nyx is different but our nyx in my hometown in boots is literally one thing and it's double sided which is really cool when I first saw it I was like oh my god that's cool and it has a few bits but not everything and I went in looked at the nyx stall and then the next nyx stall and then the next nyx stall and then the next one and I was just like oh my god this is great and they just literally everything nyx sells was there and I was just like I've got, I've got enough money for this so I bought one thing and that is a little color correcting palette it was £10.50 which I think is fairly good and it's got quite a few little concealers the nice thing is it's got some like correcting ones here and here and then it's got two like brown brownie colors here so that would be quite nice I think this one would be quite nice for my skin anyway get up, get off my face focus for my skin this would be quite nice for contouring like a cream contour and this would probably be like when I put the dark areas in so like when I do like here and like at the very tippy top so yeah it's quite nice I think um, hopefully I'll use it and it will be good so yeah I got that from Boots £10.50 and it's NYX so check it out yeah that's it that's the only two other bits I got that weren't from Primark so I am going to do like a little try on for you as well just so you can see what it looks like on just because when I watch like hauls like clothing hauls it's quite nice to see that and especially because it's so weird how things look off and on they look so different does my head in I went into Primark and if you know me then you know that I love Primark so much <laughs> it's cheap I just love all the clothes I go in and pick up like 200 pounds worth of stuff and then end up spending like £40 which is quite good and the reason for that is because I'll pick up loads of stuff that looks great on the hanger I'll try it on and it looks like dog shit so I picked up quite a lot of stuff I didn't have a look how much it all came to because I thought I'd have a heart attack but I picked up quite a lot of stuff as I was going round and then I tried it on and there were so many of these nice you know like off the shoulder dresses that were just straight down by the way I went shopping because we're going on holiday soon so I went holiday shopping and I wanted like one of these nice dresses that are off the shoulder, they just go straight down, they're just like flowy and they've got like either three quarter or long sleeves. And I picked three of them up, three different ones, they were so nice, they were so pretty, I tried them on and because they just went straight down and had no shape to them, I just looked so frumpy and gross, like, because I'm quite, I'm not tall, I feel like these would look nice on tall girls or boys. But they just made me look so much shorter and frumpy and just like, what, like a sack. I looked like a sack of potatoes and it was horrible. I was watching, watching, I was looking in the mirror just like, why? This is so nice. So the things I've picked up, I've tried on and I love and they look great. So yeah. I bought this inflatable flamingo, which was £10. And it's just 
the cutest thing ever. They've got this little scale here to show you how big it is. However, they don't tell you how big the woman is. So this woman could be four foot tall. And this is only like four foot, so I don't bloody know. But I had seen a few Primark hauls where people went in and they bought the unicorn version of this. And I was like, oh my god, I want that so much. I want that unicorn for holiday. I must have it. I must have it. And then I noticed it was like a lilo. And I was like... I want to be in the pool like when I go to swimming I want to be in the pool and I noticed the flamingo actually has a ring has a little like missing bit and I was like it's pink it's cute and it's a flamingo so I'll get this instead so yeah I'm happy with that so I got the flamingo £10 from Primark go get one because they're cute and I can't wait <laughs> okay so clothes first of all I wanted a new bikini I've got one bikini set and a swimsuit but I really wanted a new one. I also wanted a new swimsuit, but I didn't. I've tried one on and it was just gross, so I didn't get that. But I got a swimming what's this, bikini. I got a bikini. So I don't know where the handle for this is. So this is the top. It's got cute like little palm trees on it. It's a cute pink, pinky colour. And it's got like a nice, I want to call this a, a balcony. Like The bras that are like this are normally called like balcony bras, but I don't know if that's what this would be called. But... But it's also, it's got this thing, so I'm a bit worried about tan lines, but it's cute, so it's fine. And then just some matching bottoms. And the top was £6, the bottom £4, so together they're £10. And yeah, I just think they look really cute on. They, I, lo I love matching, like I used to a few years ago when I was going on holiday, I like to, to mix match, just to like, you know, jazz it up a bit, but really loving matching things at the moment you know like when you get like a matching top and skirt and stuff like that I just think they look so cute so I did really like the idea of having them match and they were cute so I got them I got these shorts they kind of reminded me of like a few years ago do you remember like I don't know if you were like on tumblr and everyone would be wearing shorts like this and there were, there were a pair of shorts I think they were in Topshop and they were exactly like this these are high waisted like very high waisted and they were exactly like this, except for instead of the beads, they had like an American flag on them and they were like 60 pounds or 70 pounds or something like that. And I remember being like, I want them so bad, but I never got them because that is ridiculous. <laughs> but I got these and these were 15 pounds, which is kind of a lot for Primark, but when you shop at Primark loads, you sometimes do pick things up and go, oh my God, that's expensive. But then like to refresh my memory, I'll just kind of walk into a top shop or a River Island and I'll go, Actually, that wasn't that expensive. So these are the shorts. They got these nice little like pearl and just metal like plates. I don't know uh, design on there, and then just plain plain on the back. But yeah, I thought these were real cute, and haven't bought a pair of shorts in ages. So I thought, what a better reason than a holiday. So the next thing I got was this cute dress shirt thing, and it's got that little tie up at the front that's real popular at the moment but it's like faux suede it's quite long it's just kind of like a t-shirt dress but with the little thing at the front it's faux suede and it's a nice like nudie brown and I just really liked it I haven't really got anything like this not in the style not in the color not in the cut or anything so I picked that up and I really liked it it was 10 pounds and this is the only thing I put on that was like straight down but like no shape that actually looked nice so I was quite happy with that even though this was like not my favourite out of all the ones I picked but still it looks good so I was happy with that so that's £10 and yeah I think it's cute real cute I feel like it gives me like Pocahontas vibes and I also got this dress I really like black and white vertical stripes I don't know why but it's kind of like just a vest but a very long dress it reaches down to like my ankles probably just above my ankles and I just thought it was really nice I have a top kind of like this I just think black and white vertical stripes are very flattering on like everyone and you can just chuck it with anything obviously this is a dress so I won't be putting jeans on or anything but I can just throw this on with like a pair of slip-on shoes and if we're going to like you know for, out for lunch or anything like that and it's quite thin so it'll keep me cool and yeah just real happy with that that was six pounds which is quite good so yeah I got that 
and I also also got this thing this big old thing which is beautiful and I really wanted like I can't remember what they're called now they're they have a name but it's basically those like kind of dress shirt things that you just throw on after you got out of the pool if you're like you know popping out somewhere or whatever because for some reason on holiday you can just walk around half naked and no one cares but I wanted one of those but they were all just real ugly in Primark I just didn't like any of them and then I saw this and I noticed it said one size so I was like what? but I just really like the pattern and then if you turn it around and have a look here it's actually like a, a really thin long kind of blanket thing like and then you can wear it like as a towel you can wear it as a towel around your neck and then you can wear it as a sarong and that's kind of like I was thinking of that I was thinking either I'll get one of those I want to say kimono but I know it's not a kimono but like those things that you slip on after or I'll just get a sarong and this is kind of like all all, all of them and, a, and an extra because I can wrap it around my neck so yeah I like that and it was it was three pounds three pounds I was like yes get in my basket and it's it's beautiful and it's very thin again like it's very like see-through I don't know if you can see me but it's uh, it's very thin so it's not gonna like if I get out the pool and then just throw it around me it's not gonna like make me really hot so that's good so that's all the holiday clothes I got I got a few more bits from Primark we got got some pillowcases and they're £1.70 so you can't argue and then I got this cute little thing it's a candle holder it's like marble and copper I have like diffusers in almost every room I have a candle in this room here I'm crazy and every room has its own smell as well as its own like colour theme but I don't have like a diffuser or anything in the kitchen so I thought rather than just putting normal tea lights in here in the other one I'd get some scented ones and this is white lily and patchouli so yeah got them as well and then the last thing I got from Primark was this Carmex strawberry flavoured I didn't realise it was strawberry I thought it was cherry but it's fine uh, either way I don't care um, the reason I got this one rather than the other one because I usually use like the original pop one which is just brilliant it's so good you put it on overnight you wake up and you're like oh my god I got new lips it just, it's so good but the reason I got this is because one it's flavoured and two it has an SPF so I can take this on holiday oh it's two pounds and that's it so so that's everything for my Primark and other bits haul if you enjoyed make sure to like and comment and subscribe and share and scream and shout if you have any suggestions on anything you would like to see then please let me know down below also I believe my giveaway is still going until 12 o'clock tonight so if you'd like to enter that then just go to my Instagram a little picture will be right here so you can see what it looks like and then you'll see my little my little username uh, and just follow the rules on that photo and good luck. Thank you very much. I will see you next week. Mwah.